Hey, good morning, folks. Hope everyone's doing well this Friday morning. Man, another Friday. We're almost to the weekend. Just get through today. I know I say it pretty much every week, but I love Fridays because I love the weekend. Anyway, hey, we're going to continue and finish up our thought that we started on Wednesday uh, for this week during our morning minutes in the Word. We said in on Wednesday morning in, from Malachi where God the Father said, I am the Lord and I change not. And we talked about what an encouragement that is, that no matter what's going on in our life, no matter what changes, no matter what disruptions, God is the same. He is faithful. He is always there for us. And so what a blessing that is. Well, today we're going to continue that thought, but we're going to jump over into Hebrews chapter 13, verse number 8. And it says there, Jesus Christ. Now, we said God the Father on Wednesday. Well, now we're going to talk about God the Son. And we know if, if you're familiar with the idea of the Trinity, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, it's one God and three persons. Well, in Hebrews 13, 8, it says Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Now, again, we said on Wednesday that it was such an encouragement that God the Father is always the same. We can count on him. And the same can be true about Jesus Christ. The same is true about the one who came to this earth to die for our sins because he loved us so much. Listen, that same one who came to die because he loved us so much, you know what? He's the same today as he was yesterday. He's the same today as he will be tomorrow and forever. He loved us 2,000 years ago when he died and he loves us today. He, he came to die so that he could save man from their sins 2,000 years ago. And every day since then, he, he's been putting that offer out there. I died to pay for your sins. Will you receive it? Every single day, he said, I want to save you. And so anybody that you know that's not saved, guess what? Jesus wants to save them today just like he did yesterday. And he'll want to save them tomorrow just like he does today. He'll never come to a point where he says, you know what? I'm tired of this. I've been rejected and rejected and rejected. I'm, I'm, I just don't want to save anyone anymore. Until the day that he comes again to call his church home, he is in the saving business. He loves everybody. God so loved the world. Uh, we, the kids sing the song, uh, you know, red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Hey, he loves the children. He loves the adults. He loves the boys and the girls, the men, the women. He, he loves you no matter what color your skin is. He loves you no matter how much money you have in the bank. He, he loves you no matter if you're an Alabama fan or you're a, sorry, an Auburn fan. He, he loves all of you because right? he is perfect and he can love even Auburn fans. Hey, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. His love knows no limits. It will never change. It will never diminish. His love is as great as any love could be, and it will always be that way. I just want to encourage you today that no matter, again, like on Wednesday, no matter what you're going through, now you may be, maybe you're beating yourself up. Maybe you've made a mistake. Maybe you've fallen on your face. You've done something dumb, and you've been beating yourself up. And you're like, how could God love me? Hey, he does. We may not understand it because as people, as humans, yeah, our love comes and goes, doesn't it? Someone can do something bad and make us stop loving them. Jesus Christ, though, is the same yesterday and today and forever. His love never ends. And so he loves you no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you've done, even if you find yourself cheering for Auburn. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I hope that's an encouragement to you today. I hope you have a great day today. And uh, hey, our church folks, I can't wait to see you guys Sunday morning. Y'all take care.